Many people don't realize that adolescence is a really recent innovation in world history. In most cultures throughout the history of the world, kids went from being kids to being an adult. Uh, it was really late 20th century America. Some people blame it on Chubby Checker and the twist, but that's a long story. Uh, but the idea is, is that now we have this thing called youth culture, and it's created this kind of stage of life called uh, adolescence. Now certainly there are things happening in the teenage brain where wires are still being connected. Uh, that's why teenagers are more apt to engage in risky behavior. But in most cultures throughout the history of the world, these teenagers uh, were expected to act like adults, which by the way actually led to the brain wiring coming together. But we have this thing called adolescence, where we market to adolescence, we celebrate adolescence, and adolescence continues to grow. People are becoming adolescents earlier and earlier, and they're leaving it later and later. And it's even created this thing in our culture where it's the goal of life, right? Where when I was growing up, you know, I remember Ferris Bueller's Day Off, right? The knucklehead in the movies was the high school student. Fast forward to today and the knuckleheads in the movies are married men with children who are trying to get away from the ball and chain. It's completely shifted what it means uh, to be mature and what the goal of life is. Um, and uh, I, I think it's something that, that we need to fight against because caring about the world around us, being able to delay gratification for something bigger and better, these are not just character issues or maturity issues, these are identity issues. You don't know who you are as a human being if you don't fulfill what God intended when he said be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. But more and more teenagers are staying adolescents into their 20s and late 20s and uh, it's, it's really interfering with their ability uh, to be themselves as God intended for them to be.